So Mackenzie and Moser actually asked, why is it that sometimes with a bad lung or a good lung, we place a baby sideways, what we call the cubitus? Let me go ahead and answer that question. And thank you for that question, Mackenzie. If we have a baby who, for whatever reason, has some atelectasis, meaning there's been a collapse of a certain part of a lung, what you want to do is try and open up that area, that part of the lung. We know that air rises to the top, right? So if you have, for example, a right-sided collapse, you'll want to put a baby on the left side as air goes into the trachea, it's going to preferably go to the right lung and open up those areas that might have some atelectasis. So more air is going in, you will try and open up those areas of atelectasis and make it equal. Sometimes what happens is that the le their left side in this case, the other side may actually collapse a little bit. So you do have to be very careful if you're doing that, you know, you want to shoot an x-ray, see if things really do open up after a while. You'll see this as well, they, their oxygen should improve. If you see that the other side collapses a little bit, then you may have a baby will, that will be going back and forth and so you do have to be careful with that you may have a baby that has actually something like emphysema meaning they have a lot of air on one side there's a lot of air trapping on one side you mm -hmm. want to do in that case is actually do the opposite you put that side down so that the air that's trapped in those bubbles will actually leave the interstitium, the little uh, areas uh, in between the cells of the, alveol the, of the alveoli. So you leave that and it goes into the trachea or the bronchioles and eventually to the trachea so you can breathe it out. That way you kind of push, if you will, a little bit of those air bubbles out from the interstitium back into the air pipes. This is why sometimes we do this sort of bad, bad lung, good lung maneuver left and right to try and get some of that air to open up or if there's air trapped for that air to be squeezed out back into the trachea so we can breathe. Thank you, Mackenzie, for that great question. Now, if any of you have some great questions just like Mackenzie's, let me know in the comments section and I'll try and answer. If you want to know more about neonatology, do obviously check out my page or you can also visit my YouTube channel at The Nikki Dog. Just search The Nikki Dog and you will find a ton of videos educating you on Nikki. Everybody have a great day and continue learning.